been waiting for. Our first graduate, would you please honk your horns for Cole Hershaw. Come on up here, Cole. Congratulations, Cole, and well done. First name? Seth. Seth with a Z. There you are, Kendrick. Awesome. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, your second grad of this group, would you please put your horns together for Zeth Kendrachog? Nice work, Seth. Anthony, how are you, Anthony? Congratulations. Anthony Madrid. Are the Madrids ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, let's do this. Our next grad, folks, is Anthony Madrid. Well done, Anthony. Congratulations. Hey, man. How are you doing? Ankle with? There you go. Coach. All right, up you go. Our next grad for you to applaud and honk for, Benjamin Heathcote. Congratulations, Benjamin. And now, folks, our next grad, Mr. Joel Anderson. Do you want to put it on? Put it on, Joel, for the shot. You want a good shot. Yeah. There it is. Nice work, Joel. Excellent driving, Grandpa. You're doing very well. All right. Our next graduate from Central Memorial. Let's honk it up for Isabella Brunet. Sydney with an S. Sydney Thomas. Are the Thomases ready? All right, your next graduate from Central Memorial, Sydney Thomas. Congratulations, Sydney. Lightning. 
Off you go. And now your next graduate. Let's honk it for Ayla Wardlaw. All right, Alexanders, are we ready for this? Okay, head on up. Your next contestant on the grad of 2020, Mr. Brock. Alexander! Are you ready, Mom? Are we ready? This is a big time. All right, Caitlin, take it. Let's welcome Caitlin Horrocks! All right, Kellys, once they're in position, you can go. Take it away. Put your hands together for Lindsay Kelly! Woo! Good work. Hi, Sophia. Congratulations. This is kind of exciting. Sophia. Uh, good driving, Mr. Garcia. Very proud of your work. All right, head on up. And now your next graduate, Sophia Garcia. Well, there you are. Good work, Sophia. Your next graduate, would you please honk with me for Peyton Lake? Well done, Peyton. Aaron, just tell us when you're ready. <laughs> okay, head on up. And now, your next graduate, Maddie Firstall. Well done, Maddie. Jenny, how's the photography going? Are you ready? Is it good? All right. Your next graduate. Jenny is the photographer, but the grad is Claire Bernard. That's <laughs> Travel the world and I can give you and all you can see. Tam is money. Only difference is I own. 
Excellent driving, Kelly. We're very proud of your work. And enjoy this moment, darling. Kelly, have you ever heard anyone say your name on the radio before? <laughs> I feel like you should win a prize, Kelly. Okay, head on up. Your next graduate. Very good. Is Noel Coons. Let's hear for Noel. Michael, tell us when you're ready. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, Adrian, this, Aiden, this is your chance. Your next graduate heading across the stage, Aiden Bangs. Look at this, the plastic plants have fallen over. when you need to. Hi, Grandma Ben. Is that Grandma Bennett? Hi, Grandma Bennett. She doesn't know where I am, but congratulations because your grandson is about to graduate. Let's hear it for Bennett Ankowich. All right, our next graduate, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, let's hear it for Reese Bentham. What's your first name? Adam. Adam. I know we're all All right, folks, the moment we've been waiting for, Adam Yates Laverge. What did I just say? Adam. Ready, head on up. Andrew is now next. A close relative, would you please put your horns together? Andrew Yates LaBerge. Hi, Nicole, you ready for this? John, are you ready? I'm not doing anything until you're ready. Okay, head on up. Oh, sorry. Let's hear it for Cole Mook. Well done, Cole. That's incredible. All right. 
Our next grad, a great friend of mine since grade one, would you please honk your horns for Willa Marshall? Sarah's the official photographer for the uh, Starling group. All right. Ready? Would we please welcome our next graduate to the stage, Ella Starling? Yeah! Hello. What's your first name? Uh, Megan Aylward. John is the photographer here, just getting everything ready. You ready, John? Very good. All right, everybody. The next horn honks. Head on up, Megan. That's great. Goes to Megan Aylward. Yeah. Well done, John. Okay, wait right here. Is that Kathy, are you ready to take this picture? Awesome. Take it. Our next graduate from Central Memorial's class of 2020, Ryan Buchanan. Leah, the official photographer, very well done. All right, our penultimate graduate from this group. Go ahead, Paige. Would you please honk it up for Paige Craft? Yeah, oh, with a spin. Ladies and gentlemen, the final graduate in this group. So let's make it a good one. Let's hear it for Caitlin Poont. Go ahead, Caitlin. And while Caitlin and her family makes their way to their seat, or as I like to call it, parking stall. Let's give one more round of honks to this class of 2020. So good. So let me explain a bit about what's going to happen now. Once we get everybody seated, <laughs> Then what we're going to do is we have a bit of a formal program. At the end of the formal program, we're going to take a group picture. And I don't care if you get wet. 
It's a picture you're going to save for the rest of your life, and it's going to be great. So we're going to do that in a bit. But while we make our way to the stage, I just need to test our horns for one quick second. Everybody listening, how about this? Da, 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 da. There's, right? Right? It's always going to happen. What a great day. What a great afternoon. This is the most exceptional day of a graduate class in the history of Central Memorial. They've been doing grads for 130 years. And this one is different than any one they have ever had. And you are an exceptional class to be part of it. We have a video to start us off, and then we're going to get into our program. Have a look. decided to take increasingly aggressive steps to keep you and your family safe. In particular, mass gatherings are a significant source of concern during this pandemic. It's hard, but it's the right thing to do. This is, if any of you are wondering why moms and dads are having a hard time fitting into the cars, it's because their chests are bursting with pride. And to set this all up, I want to acknowledge a very important piece that I love reading. We'd like to acknowledge we're on the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which include the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Siksika, Pekani, and Kainai First Nations, the Tsutina First Nation, the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to the home of the Métis Nation in Alberta, Region 3. Where we are situated right here today, where the Bow River meets the elbow, which is just a few hundred feet away, is the traditional, the traditional Blackfoot name is Mokinsis, which we now call the city of Calgary. For all of the elders, decades and decades and thousands of years before, who led the way in this land, can we honk our horns in gratefulness and thanks to them. So good. Drive through grad 2020 YYC is the hashtag if you feel like doing any hashtagging. Uh, for all the grandparents in the audience, there are no washroom facilities here. Just saying, as a guy who knows. Uh, but let's just get on with this. There's a lot of people who wanted to send very special greetings to you. One of those people is our mayor. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Nahi Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary with a special message for the class of 2020. So here we are. This is not the graduation that you dreamed of. It is not what any of us thought would happen to us this year in 2020. I gotta tell you something. We're going through something that no one living today has ever experienced. And we're going through it together as a community here in Calgary, and as a community of human beings around the world. And it may feel like times are tough. We're dealing with a global pandemic. We're dealing with really hard questions 
around racism, around how we live together as a community, around how we govern ourselves. And we're doing all of that at a time when some of us are feeling very isolated and very alone. But you know what else 2020 has been about? And I don't mean murder hornets. 2020 has been about resilience. It's been about rethinking what's important. It's been about reconnecting with our families. You're going to have a story for the ages. You're going to tell your grandkids about what happened in 2020 in your senior year. But what you'll tell them is that you very quickly pivoted. You learned how to learn in a brand new way. Your schools and your teachers did exactly the same thing. You were supported by your families and your loved ones and your friends in order to succeed. And this class succeeded like no other. So congratulations. Congratulations to everyone in the class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. That's absolutely true. And if you look behind you, you see the Saddle Dome. There are athletes from the Stampeders, from the Flames, from the Roughnecks, from the Hitmen, who also wanted to be part of your day today, and they send greetings. Here they are. What is up, 2020 grads? Curtis Dixon here with the Calgary Roughnecks. Hey guys, it's Milan Lucic here from the Calgary Flames. Hi, I'm Carson Fogue from the Calgary Hitmen. Hi guys, this is Dave Dickinson, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. I've been asked to talk to you guys and congratulate you for being part of the class of 2020. Graduating high school is a huge accomplishment and you should all be very proud. You have something solid underneath you now, something that people treasure and will look at you as that you have worked and you've accomplished a goal. Now figure out what the, the rest of life is going to hold. What's the next goal? What path do I need to get on in order to get there? I know times have been a little tough this year. I know this isn't exactly the way you thought you'd be celebrating. It's been a crazy, crazy year. So if your path, if your goals are blocked, find a way around them, find a way through them. That's what we're looking for. We love that view from the top. Try to get there. I mean, try to get there, guys. And that's important that you can have to work and find your skills to do it. But um, I really want to just wish you guys the best of luck. You've made the city of Calgary proud, your parents, your, yourselves proud. Now go out there and get after it, make the best of it, and congratulations once again on a great job in high school. A huge congratulations from all of us at the Calgary Hitman. Massive congratulations. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on a big milestone in your lives. Uh, all the best in the future in the next chapter. Um, and stay safe and enjoy what you can with your family and friends. great now there's a lot of people from out there who wanted to send greetings who wanted to send words who wanted to send thoughts but the truth is there are some people who you know who wanted to do that exact same thing so from your own classmates and from your teachers and principals this video is for you to the gym and our first day of high school officially began. It was almost as if time had stopped. We shuffled through hallways at an uncomfortable pace and clung to the people we knew from junior high. We were hanging on to the past while being lost in the present. During those first weeks of high school, the thought of graduation had seemed so far away for so long, and now we're here. We made it. And yet, now those three years seem like only a blip in time, as if life sped quickly past us. Who would have thought that blip would turn into 551,880,000 minutes spent collectively in Central's halls? One billion cups of coffee drank to the last drop. 
enough to give us a million ulcers. 1,500 tests too many. Countless moments waiting for class to end. 70,000 assignments and thousands of hours spent at home toiling over them. So many seconds to use, so much time flying by. And somehow, we made it to grade 12. Little did we know, our concept of time was about to be flipped on its head. No one knew then how much it would change. While we've been sitting at home, trying to log on to online classes, combating with all the voice drops, technical difficulties, and totally not binge-watching Tiger King, we haven't been thinking about how the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, that acids and bases have two different faces, how every single humanities teacher wanted their essays written a different way, or how crowded Locker City became at every class change. What we've really been thinking about are the connections we made with our peers and the relationships we were able to build with each one of our teachers. Let's be honest, the true reason we came to school every day wasn't for the curriculum, but the people and the communities that we were able to build in such a short time. Grad is supposed to allow us to tie up these relationships we've built and truly say goodbye to high school, but with recent events, we've had to adapt. Who could have ever imagined that grad would look this way? Life has thrown something terrifying and unknown at us. We had expected to be able to spend some of our last moments here with our friends, creating memories that we could carry with us for the rest of our lives. But those memories look a lot different than what we had previously predicted. Our clocks have been turned upside down and the meaning of time has lost its significance. We followed the rules worked our way through high school, grew up, and were ready for the gripping conclusion to what we would remember as the good old days. I know it doesn't seem like things will ever go back to normal, that we've missed the chance to see the proud looks on our guardians' faces as they see us walk the stage, or that we won't get to revel in the moment with friends that have been by our side since the beginning. However, in many ways, our grad will be the most memorable one for many generations. It's distinct and unique. And when we're old and gray, our grandchildren will be asking us what it was like to graduate in the year 2020. In the wise words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. While we can't necessarily follow this advice right now, we will eventually be able to take the future in our own hands and determine how we want to live our lives and what our journeys will look like. We are the next generation. And I'd say, the future is in good hands. Hello there, remember me? It seems like so very long ago, ages ago, that I stood up in front of you to welcome you back after last summer, our class of 2020. I recall the great cheer that went up, the expectations high for your final year of high school. Graduation looming, just a few scant months in the distance. I think I was almost as excited as you. You see, you are my first complete three-year class of students since I arrived at Central just over three years ago. The first group of students I'd had the privilege to know since you all arrived, fresh-faced and perhaps a little intimidated, on that first day of grade 10. The year got underway. Teams played, pep rallies happened, concerts were performed, dance recitals, plays, musicals, tournaments, competitions. Oh yes, and classes were held too, and attended by some of you more than others. You know who you are. There were countless assignments done and tests and exams written, so many tests. We finished classes on December 19th and off we went on our winter break. Sometime late in December, before New Year's, we began hearing about this virus with the strange, almost humorous name. Jokes about Mexican beer came out, remember? We started back in January to classes and still what was happening in faraway province of China in a little known city named Wuhan seemed, well, so far away. Life in Calgary carried on. Life at Central Memorial and the CT Center carried on. Plans for graduation really started to take shape. Dresses bought, limos checked out. 
Well, as S.E. Hinton famously said, that was then and this is now. To say we are living in a strange, surreal world is an understatement of epic proportions. Each day, it seems, continues to bring fresh challenges to face, new problems to solve. In many ways, my heart breaks for you, class of 2020. You have woken up and through absolutely no fault of your own, found yourselves in this terrible situation and it isn't fair. The plans you had for graduation, for the celebration, for the parties, rudely snatched away. Opportunities to finish courses and for many of you to prepare for post-secondary programs turned upside down as you and your teachers struggled to figure out how to do most of it online now. And for some of you, the constant worry and perhaps even the loss of a loved family member or friend or neighbor. Terrible indeed. These are some of the cards you have been dealt, my friends. And no, it just isn't fair. However, I want to suggest that you have also been given some gifts that go along with these dark, challenging times. Some of you, many of you I suspect, know what I mean. You see, class of 2020, events such as this pandemic offer us some tremendous opportunities as well. You have some choices to make, and many of you are well into making them. You can sit back and be stuck in that, this just isn't fair place, or you can choose to get up, dust yourself off, and move past that very unproductive and not very helpful mindset. I've seen and heard of the things many of you are doing, even in isolation. Sure, you're spending too many hours on social media and likely watching far too much Netflix. I mean, seriously, Tiger King? But you're also, many of you, perhaps most, doing beautifully well with your online courses, all things considered. You're making music, dancing, cooking dinner, baking bread, competing in provincial skills competitions, calling grandparents, going for walks with your dogs, and with your families, rediscovering deeper relationships with friends and loved ones. And some of you are growing your first gardens, delivering groceries to neighbors, and helping little sisters and brothers with their online homework. These are all choices you have made as a very positive response to the challenge of COVID-19. And you and the world are better off as a result. Never doubt that. I want you all to use this pandemic as a launching point for you to declare and create a new improved version of yourself. Imagine the power of this. There are about 385 of you. Use this, an opportunity to become a more compassionate, kinder you. We have our own Canadian versions of George Floyd. Trust me, racism is not an American thing exclusively. Imagine the offsetting and tremendous impact in the world of 385 of you dedicated to treating everyone they encounter throughout their lives with dignity, respect, compassion, and love. I see it already with my new improved 2020 vision, pun absolutely intended. Recently, a Central Memorial parent very kindly sent me a piece of anonymous writing and I'd like to share a little of it with you. Heal your own heart and cherish your own body and celebrate your own soul. Then go out there and live, love, make a difference." End quote. You got this. Congratulations to the very wonderful and absolutely indomitable class of 2020. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations!
That is so good. You folks are unbelievable. So before we, we're going to, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to do our final grad picture, and the sun came out for that. Before we did that, though, those of us that have put this thing together, been part of putting it together, we wanted to say something to you, and we did it in a video. Here it is. If you ask your parents what they remember about their grad, what they wore or how they got there, or what anyone even said at their grad, they won't have a clue. No one ever does. But not this time, not your grad. Your parents will remember today. Your friends will remember today. And you will remember today. You'll even remember the car you took to get here because you drove the car right to the stage, then walked across this stage in front of your car, then got back in your car and watched everyone else do the same from their car while you sat in your car. So, where does that leave you? It leaves you with the chance to go from a grad that no one has experienced before to a life no one has lived before. You get to choose what really is essential. What does the world really need and who do I really want to be in it? Because clearly the world needs you. Choose to help because we need it. Choose to lead because we need leaders. Choose to be courageous because this is a time that calls for courage. And someday, some of you might have kids. And someday, those kids will graduate high school. And they'll say to you, do you even remember your grad? And you'll pull out a picture of a parking lot. And you'll say, yes, I do. That was the year everything changed. It was the start of something great. And I, I was right there in the middle of it. Let's drive our cars into the future. Congratulations, class of 2020, the class that started it all, the class that no one will ever forget. <laughs>